over a little bit um, just the main the main two words that we said last uh, week, and just see where it takes us. I want to go off. On, uh, I don't I don't even call it a tangent anymore because like uh, the tangents when I learned the nefesh chaim. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh, what what comes to mind? But uh, what, what, what's very important here is in Shar Bey's Parak Tezayin, the uh, Nefesh Chaim says, referring to Chana, Ve'eshpoich es nafshi, Lifnei Hashem, Ve'eshpoich es nafshi, Shvichas ha-nefesh. Hmm? The end of Tezav, I'm sorry. Did I say? Shvichas ha-nefesh. So Nefesh Chaim said, Taich, Ve'eshpoich es nafshi, Shvicha Pirushai Legamri, Kiyadua Bashas, and I actually brought a few examples from Shas where, where that's the truth. So Shvicha means if you take a cup of water and you pour it into the next cup of water, next cup, empty cup of water, and there's nothing at all left in the first one, that's called Shvicha. There's a lot of different Lashonis in, in Kachim and Taras and Pirkeovos even, but a Mashpech, it was an example that I brought, a Mashpech uh, was one of the people that sit in front of Chachamim. And it's a chasarn to be a mashpech. A mashpech hears everything and gives it all over for talmidim, meaning like um, he's just like a, a, a wire, a conduit, which is not so good because nothing sticks to the, to the um, so you can, you can have such a thing as somebody who can say over everything, but he, nothing seems to stick. So that's a mashpech. So shvicha pirushai legamri and nefesh, more important, Pirusha, he says, Nefesh Achaim, Rotsayim. So whenever we say Shafach, it means Legamri. And whenever we say Nefesh, Nefesh Achaim. When we say Nefesh, as opposed to Nefesh, as opposed to Ruach, Neshama, Leiv, all kinds of words that we've been using here. But Nefesh, Pirush, Rotsayim. It refers to the Rotsayim. And Rotsayim, I explained, is um, not, not a simple idea. A ratzon means that everybody has a lot of ratzonos and everybody has a lot of reasons why they do whatever they do, but there is, a, there is such a thing called the ratzon hapnimi or the Vilna Gon calls the ratzon harishon. The Vilna Gon says even more, hakol hoylech acher ratzon harishon. <laughs> a fantastic thing at the end of the Siddur Agra. He says, hakol hoylech acher ratzon harishon. You know, sometimes... It, you know, uh, it's it's like um, psycho cybernetics. You know, you know that uh, idea, like a cybernetic missile. You know, so um, the Israelis like these things. They you can you can point it this way, but it knows its target, so it'll turn around, like in the cartoons, like a guided missile, and, and go all around the place till it finds its target, and it hits the place that it's hitting. Um, that that name of that science is cybernetics. So there's there's the rutzon, cybernetic rutzon. So the rutzon of a person, the rutzon harishin. If you get to the real rutzon, what's the real rutzon? As I said, the example I gave, um, I want to I want to come to the shear. Um, why do I want to come to the shear? Um, because I want to, you know, I enjoy. There could be a lot of reasons why I want to. I like the chevra, I like the Torah. It makes me think. It makes me feel good. It's inspiring. Uh, I'm bored. I want to get out of my house. There could be a lot of different reasons why a person comes to the shear. But what's the real rutzon? Why am I really coming? So, well, I want to learn Torah. But why? Why do you want to learn Torah? Until you get all the way. Well, I want to. Uh, I want to be able to know what to do. But why? Because I want to be close to Hashem. So, if the rutzon harishon is that I want to have this hiskarvus and this, this histabkus with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that's good. That means that you're coming with Shema, no matter how many different layers you have to peel off to get to that Ratzon Harishon. Ratzon Harishon. But the Vilna Gaon turns it around in a, in a, as I say, a cybernetic way. It says, you know what? Hakol hoylechacha Ratzon Harishon. That if we, would, whatever a person decides in this life, whether it's what to eat for breakfast, where to move, or what to do with your children, all of those decisions um, at the end, they're all stemming, they're all sprouting from the, from the uh, Ratzon Harishon, because the Ratzon Harishon, whether you're in touch with it or not, is really causing all of the decisions. You know, I, 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 um, I, I just tell you from a personal experience, uh, you know, like when people come to talk to me, so whatever, if they find some value in talking to me. So, um, but Derek Klal, I'm not an expert in too many things. I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a, but, <coughs> What I'm good at doing for other people is, is um, peeling away all the klipas that, that, you know, all the shtus that people are talking themselves into 
Um, and because I'm sort of ruthless with that, you know, and I'll go to a therapist and they'll make you happy again. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's, it's kind of like a ruthless um, uh, avoda here to say, you know, like, uh, because people talk themselves into all kinds of things. It's just like an amazing thing. Though. It's the cognitive dissonance is immense in terms of people, people's decision making people, talking about good people. Um, so the idea is like to cut through the, all the baloney and to get to the, to the real Ratzon Harishan, because at the end, Akol Hoi Lechacha Ratzon Harishan. Now there's, there's an avoda here that if the Ratzon Harishan is not correct, if there's something wrong with the Ratzon Harishan, it's not always Tahar, it's not always Kadosh, but there's something driving you. Um, I don't want to give specific examples because uh, you know, there's no need. But if there's something driving you, which is an error, so you can make a million cheshbonus, fruma uh, cheshbonus, and, and you know, like, uh, and, you know, fruma cheshbonus, but if, you, if the Ratzah Arisha is not right, that's where the avoda has to be done. Everything else, you know, the, you know, can be done with a therapist, but I think the only purpose of having somebody who's uh, uh, of speaking to a Rav is to try to zero in into the Ratzah and Harisha. I think that's the only, um, Agav, um, not that I come anywhere close to this, but um, the, if, if a person really can tell somebody else's Ratz and Arishan, that's called Ruach HaKodesh. Uh, ruach, in other words, uh, sometimes like somebody has Ruach HaKodesh, or if a person's, let's put it differently, if the person's Ratz and Arishan is correct, that Ratz and Arishan is Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach HaKodesh, the way it's described, very high level, it's an upgrade from Nevoah, as I said here on Friday night. It's an upgrade from Ruvua. So, uh, so, so the, the, the Ruach HaKodesh means that, that, um, that we're, we've exposed, what the, whether it's in me, whether it's in you, we've exposed something which is, which is very, very real and very, very raw. And we've got down to the source of the whole thing. And as it comes, as the Shemayim, that's what the Shemayim is working with. Because the Shemayim and the energy from Shemayim doesn't care about all the Klippas. It's going straight, the Klippas are blocking it. That's what a klipa is, but it, it goes straight to the to the. So you understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying any great uh, kabbalah here. Um, I'm just saying a, a simple thing that the rutz and harisha is everything. So when we talk about rutz and harisha, we're talking about nefesh, and the Vilna Gaon says ultimately um, a person's a person's decisions in life. If you want to understand them, your so your own or other people's, you need to understand their rutz and harisha because I call holy chacha rutz and harisha. So he says in the back of the sitter. Same thing. The Ratzon Apnimi is the Pnimi Yosir, and the Ratzon Arishan is, is what's starting the whole process going. It's, 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 it's almost, um, the same thing. It's the same thing. Usually, if I read a piece of music, the first thing that comes, I'll, I'll always end up back to that first idea. So they say, they, I, I've heard, I've heard um, Gedolim say this about Torah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, and I've, and I've thought about it a lot because usually the way you think about like understanding some Torah is that, okay, I see it and now I go deeper and I go deeper and I go deeper, deeper, deeper until I get to the Pshat, which is true, of course. But there, there's, a, there's another Bechina here, which I, I actually heard from Gedolim, that they look at something, they get an immediate Pshat. Now they have to work out why that's the right Pshat. <laughs> like it, it's it's, a, it, um, it's, it's um, whatever you want to call it whatever you want to call it, but maybe I think I call it Ruch HaKodesh. In other words, I know the Pshat. I might not be able to articulate it yet. I don't think that, I think everybody's like that a little bit. I, like, I know the Pshat. So it's reverse engineering, very good. Like, like it's, it's, this is the Pshat. And uh, I heard Rav Scheidberg say this many times. Like, it's like, it's like, the, like you're saying with music. It's like, it, because that's the first, that first shot, that first. And I think also like um, in a relationship sometimes, the very first words that somebody says, you get a lot of information about the Ratzon Harishan and the Ratzon Apnimi. Uh, you know, the fir your first encounter with somebody, you know, hi, I'm a lawyer, okay. <laughs> they, get a, they, get, they get their something in there. They gotta get something in there, you know, that, that's very, very important to them. They somehow, you know, you know like, like the joke of the Jewish mother, you know, my son, the doctor, he's drowning. Can you help him? <laughs> you know, like it's, there's, there's, there's a certain um, point that they need to get into every conversation, you know, no matter how, how important it is. Is the, oh, the Rishon, very good, very good. So, I mean, so this, this Yisoyed, I'm, I'm dwelling on it because it's an extremely important Yisoyed of, of, um, of Nefesh. This is what Nefesh is. Now, I'm davening, so it's by Eshboich as Nafshi. So there's a complete Shvicha of the complete Nefesh. 
So what, what, what uh, Chana was saying to, to Eli, was, what she was saying to him was, um, I'm no drunk. Um, what I'm doing is, um, what you're seeing, and that's why I'm acting so strange, is, is I'm taking my complete nefesh, which was not just to have a child, um, but a child called Shmuel, a child who's going to be the Navi and, and create the whole paradigm shift. That she was the mother of all Nevi'im. Since Mo, that type of Nevu'ah, um, which we talk about, the Nevu'ah of Tzvakos, which came since Moshe Rabbeinu. It was a new kind of Nevu'ah that Shmuel and Navi started, the uh, Sefer Nevi'im, and she knew she was on the cusp of that shift. And that's what she was davening for. That was deep, deep inside of her. That was her deep mm-hmm. nefesh. I would venture to say, I don't think, uh, that if a person taka davens and, and their rutzen hapnimi or their rutzen harishain, um, whatever that is, whether it's articulated or not, I, um, Hashem will answer that tefillah. Hashem will answer tefillah. You might not answer all the, 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 the you know, you might not win the lottery. But the, but the you know whatever it is that you're davening for because that's that's our idea of how it's things should play out. Hmm? It's in so the, the yeah so the, no, but we, we spoke about this that shavasenu kabel ushmat sakoseinu these are tefillos shavasenu and sakoseinu we say no no bechoyach those are tefillos that we don't even know we're davening. Vatal shavasem el Hashem they were so far the the Jews in Mitzrayim were so far they were even davening they were so far, but deep inside, they had a, uh, somehow they had a, uh, that's what saved us. What saved us was that they had a deep rutzav. Uh, thank God you see this in a lot of, um, a lot of Jews, particularly in Eretz Yisrael. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. And there's a lot of people you don't see it in. So, <laughs> uh, you know, if you're really a chacham, you can know who's really Jewish and who's not Jewish. But, um, the, 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 if, if, you can, if you can really get to the, you don't have to be like, uh, have a gun pointed to your head to be able to find the omic, the deep omic of, of, of a Jew. It's there. It's there. And that's really what's more important than everything that comes out of it, because you could do all the flowery stuff. You know, to, uh, I tell you something, um, you know, at one point in my life, I did a lot of things over, <laughs> at one point in my life, I was, I was um, on the basin of Gerus of Muncie. So I was dealing a lot with Gerim. And um, I'm, not, I'm not generally like a very strict person, but uh, I tended to be very strict when it came to uh, um, Gerim. I'm not generally like a big machmer. If there's a kula, there's a kula. I'm not, I'm not looking for uh, ways to make my life hard or other people's <coughs> lives hard. But when it came to Gerim, um, I, wa- I just I wanted to know that it was real. Um, I thought that was the, the, uh, the key. You know, okay, you're going to keep, you're not going to move muksa. Uh, you know, I understand, but, uh, you know, Christian could also not move muksa. It doesn't. It doesn't. Doesn't. That's not a conversion. <laughs> not a conversion. Uh, it, I had. I had a regesh that. That. And by the way, I was babachlikus with all my uh, colleagues about this. You know, like we following. Not that they disagreed with me, but we're following the process. You know, and the process is good. And, you know, say I do, and you're married. And that's all. But it. It. It just seemed to me that you needed to have a deeper um, indication that somebody is really converting. It's not as, you know, you, you, when you're converting, you're developing that pentelia that you're talking about, right? So um, I, I used to like say things, like after, after everything was all said and done, so I used to say things like, um, can you please um, stand in front of the basin and say, I believe that Jesus was just a regular guy, if he existed at all. Um, you know how many people, after six years of training, could not make that statement? <laughs> they were a pintalo guy. <laughs> <laughs> a big amount, a big amount, and and um, I don't know. I never let a statistic out of it. Huh? Is it go home, go home, and do it again. Yeah, go learn more. Go go. Uh, but it's it's. Look, I think I think actually it was helpful to them, meaning. It was helpful to realize that there's still like a, um, a El Zor <laughs> Bikirba. Um, but it's so, it's so, I mean, you could understand this many ways. Like they were brainwashed since they're little children, as we are, um, that, uh, you know, if you, if you say something bad about Jesus, lightning is going to strike you and, and it's going to, 
you know, I keep thinking as I talk about all the emails I'm going to get, <laughs> all the, uh, I got this whole group of Christians that watch these videos, but, um, hi. <laughs> uh, but, you know, but, it, but it, it is an interesting thing. It's, a, it's the, there are certain things that are in the mother's milk, if you will, and it's so deeply inculcated, but I'm just giving you an example of if that's not, in my opinion, if that's not straightened out, if that's not 100% clear, so what are we talking about? What are, we what are we talking about? We're talking about Shabbos, we're talking about kosher, we're talking about um, day schools. What are we talking about if we're not talking about the ruts and hapnimi of a person? And if you're guarding that place, even if you don't know you're guarding it, so it's there. It's Matthias, it's there. It's an El Zar. So David Abel pointed to it and he said, this is an El Zar. You can have a very deep thing. On the other end, you can have the Ipcha of that. The Ipcha of that is that I'm doing everything wrong. I'm not justifying this, but I'm doing everything wrong. But inside, my Ratzon Harishan is to do everything right. And this, this we find a lot too. So um, every, any, in every case, you need both. But it's, you know, the, if the Ratzon Harishan is right, you got a chance. You have a chance. You have a chance to, to, to keep on uh, growing. So um, that's, that's what we learned, and, and we keep on going over. I want to I show you something just be, before we begin, probably on Thursday. <laughs> But, but uh, it just something occurred to me that the Gemara says in Brachas, this the Gemara in Brachas, Lamed Aleph, is where the Gemara discusses, and we've talked a lot about the, um, the, the story and the tefillah of Chana, the, the, the mother of all prayer, uh, Chana, um, and the mother of all prophecy, modern prophecy, Shmuel Anavi An, Sefer HaNaviim, Naviim. Or Nevi'im Uksuvim. Nevi'im was Chana. So um, Eli was choshed her for a shikaira. Vayachshavua, vayachshavua Eli l'shikaira. And she said, Vatan Chana, Vatan Chana, Vatoimer. I'm reading you the Gemara Brachas. I'm at Aleph and Beis. Loi Adoni. No, Adoni. No. You're drunk, right? You say, Chana, you're drunk. <laughs> what are you doing? So he says, Lo Adoni. Omar Ula. So Ula makes a comment like this. What does he mean? What does she mean, Lo Adoni? It's a funny time to, you know, Lo Adoni. Okay, so she was having covered Adoni. Ula says it was deep. Omar Ula, Amrale, she actually said to him, Lo not loy adoni, but loy adoin ato bedaver zeh. You are not an adon. You're not the master that can judge me on what's going on deep inside of me. <coughs> loy adoni, not lo adoni or kain adoni. Lo adoni. You can't be an adoin on me. Now you know adoin comes. Right, right. Not, and not only that, the word adoin. What's the root? Done. To, to, to be done. In other, words, in other words, he or she that can judge someone has to be an Adon, like God. So she said like this, says Ula, Lo Adonata B'davrzeh V'loi Ruach HaKodesh Shaira Elecha. You're also, like you're missing, your, you're missing a beat here and your Ruach HaKodesh is off today. Um, that you're calling me a shikara. Sha'ato choish deini badover azeh, because you are being choished me for being a shikara. Imagine, apparently, apparently that was like a big crime for a woman. Like you're choished me for being, like stop. Let's max to b'shuga. What are you doing? Ato choish deini badover azeh. Ikadami, another um, Talmud of Ula, heard it a different way. Hachi Amrle, and what she was saying to him was, Loi adoin atabadavrazeh, loi ika shriach viroch hakodesh gabach. Why? Shidantani lakav choiva, loi dantani lakav schus. I see that you don't have ruach hakodesh. Listen to me carefully, because this is so important for us. I see that you, you're not working here with ruach hakodesh because you're wrong. <laughs> and you're being down lakav schus, but down lakav choiv, instead of being down lakav schus. 
If you would be a Baal Ruach HaKodesh, as you usually are, she wasn't saying he was a faker, but as you, why, why it was this alim from him at that moment, I'm not sure. I guess so that otherwise we wouldn't have this whole Hezbo. But if you're, if, you're, if, you're us, if you're in your usual Eli, you're in your usual Eli, rather, you're in your usual Ruach HaKodesh mode, so you would know, says Ula, which is the next word she said. Why don't you know that? Mikan, and the Gemara says, and from this story we learn a lesson. If somebody, is, somebody accuses you of something that you didn't do, you have to tell them, the more I learned out a whole bunch of halachas, you have to tell them, you have to give them a chance to explain. You have to be Mephias them. You see all the different things that, that um, Ailey did. He was Mephias her, he explained, he, he apologized to her, he gave her a chance to explain, all those things that you have to do. I just want to say, um, I just want to make, make a point here which I think is so uh, much more mature than the way we usually understand it. Um, you have to be done, it's in the Pirkei Avos, right? Have we done this kol adam So, um, the, the way it's superficially understood, have we done this kol adam is, um, you know, you're walking with your kid on, on the street on Shabbos and you see somebody driving by in a car and you say, well, they're probably going to the hospital to uh, give birth. But Abba, they're 90. <laughs> like, what, they, what do you mean they're going? Okay, so he had no sentence. Maybe he's in the middle of having a heart attack or whatever. Don Lekavschus. This is Don Lekavschus. And we know hundreds, hundreds of stories. There's a whole book written on stories of people that were Don Lekavchoiv and really something much bigger was going on. MS, Makabel. For the most part, it's Stuyot. Um, usually when you see somebody driving your car on Shabbos, it's because they're a Mahal Shabbos. Pashat of shot, right? I mean, what, what do we drink? You know, um, so, so what, what then does it mean, have you done is call Adam Lekav's what, 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 I mean, uh, if you see somebody talk a lot of you could be down Lekav's Chlus, but um, maybe it's Toelis, maybe this, maybe that, but, you know. I saw a beautiful thing that the, the uh, Agav Lashad Hara, I, I, I uh, I, I saw. I said. A, I said something like this. I, uh, the Chafetz Chaim says that um, one of the heterim to talk lashon hara is the pasuk of Daiga Belevish Yisichena. So if you have a, something heavy on your heart, you have a worry on your heart, Yisichena, get rid of it. So the Gemara has a machlekes. What does that mean? How are you supposed to get rid of it? So some some um, machlekes in the Gemara. One says Yisichena, just hesagadas. That's a chadas. Get, get rid of it. Forget about it. Do meditation. I don't know. Get rid of it. Um, the other, the other shot is no. Don't read it. Yisichenu with a samach. Read it. Yisichenu with a sin. Yisichenu la But by speaking to somebody else, so um, you're getting it off your chest, right? So we know this uvda. Sometimes when you speak something out to somebody else, so Chavetz Chaim takes that side of the machlekes kinira. It seems to paskin, and he says that one of the toyelis, as long as you have all the other toeliot of uh, of that he brings. Uh, in Chavetz Chaim, one of the one of the things that allows one or is not to somebody to speak lashon hara is that you're getting it off your chest. And he says, of course, the other person is is not allowed to accept it as a fact. So if you're in a position of being a therapist or something like that, so somehow lashon hara is mutter because the other person is of psychological value to get it off their chest. So um, so so I said. Like as a, uh, I was talking to a Talmud Chacham, so I said as, a, really as a joke, I said, well, uh, you know, like every time you talk Lashon Hara, it makes you feel better. <laughs> so, so this guy said, oh, that's the hunter. <laughs> that's the hunter. I was like, I was always wondering how to, what the hunter for everybody talk Lashon Hara. The answer is, Daigu Levisha, who doesn't talk to make feel better? You know, we're not talking about Rishi. Talk feels good to talk about somebody else for, for whatever, whatever your reason. But that's obviously not, not the chat. 
had the had the halacha. The pshat and the, and the halacha is that somehow um, something is really troubling me, eating me up inside. I'm allowed to be maseich lacherim um, if it helps under certain conditions. The point is this: that that to be done lekavschus doesn't mean that you're taking the superficial, outside, external thing that the person is doing, driving on Shabbos, talking lush and hard, doing whatever. It doesn't mean that, um, here, this guy was just down the whole world, it doesn't mean that you're taking a mice which isn't, and you're turning it into something it is, which is a, a sort of an exercise in, uh, in, um, in, in shtus. Uh, what it means is, can we look, look, the best thing with these things is not to be down other people altogether, I, I think. But, the, but if you're going to be down, you know, you're going to be down, like the, 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 thing, the thing to look for is what's really behind this Chil Shabbos and what's really, you know, behind the Lush and Har. There's usually um, a, a, a story here. There's usually an omek here. Um, sometimes even a psychological illness that's here. And that's the Don Lakavskus. And this is the Pshat, by the way, not have done as kol Adam Lakavskus, but have done as kol Ha Adam Lakavskus, as it says in Pirkei Avos. The idea is not to judge every person favorably, but when you're judging somebody, judge the whole person. Don is kol Ha Adam, kol Adam. The Lushen is, uh, is, is important in Meduyach that you have to look at the whole thing. So if, you, if, if you're judging, if you're putting yourself in a position of a judge, so it's important to understand, to ask, do exactly what I'm saying we should do with ourselves. The, you, know, you have to go through the same, the why process and say, you know, uh, why, why, why does he do that or she do that? Why does it, you know, he's losing his temper, anger. You can sit here and talk about um, why they're angry. Well, he said this and I said that and he said this. Or, or you can go a step deeper or deeper or deeper into what this anger is all about. Usually it has nothing to do with the subject that they're arguing about altogether. Um, it goes back to some three-year-old abuse or something like that. You know, whatever, whatever it is, I'm not, I'm not a, a, I'm not a, a bad day or, or somebody insulted me, so I'm taking it on. This could be all kinds of things. So, so when, you're, when, you're, when you're being done, somebody, um, you, have to go, you have to go all the way deep. So it comes, it comes um, Chano, and she says to Eli, you know, you don't have Ruach HaKodesh right now. You know, why? Kiloyadata, because you don't realize she'ishuk shas Ruach Because you're not realizing the, Kiloyadata de'ishuk shas Ruach Why don't you know that I'm an ishuk shas Ruach? In other words, if you're, you're, you're looking at what I'm doing, you're not looking at what I am. And if you're looking at what I'm doing, you're not looking at what I am. So this is not Ruach HaKodesh. And to, to make it stronger, the Yikadabri, the, you don't have it. Lo Yikashchina Gabach. Nothing, you're out of the whole, you're out of the whole um, circle here. You don't have any Shechina, you don't have Ruach HaKodesh. What, what would be Ruach HaKodesh? This is what I said at the beginning. Ruach HaKodesh means that I'm actually zeroing in onto the, into the Ratzon Apnimi or the Ratzon Harishon. Or I'm able to see Kochos HaNefesh. I'm able to see the nefesh of another person. So to be able to see the nefesh of another person or nefesh of myself, this is two, th two parts of this is Ruach HaKadosh. One is what that nefesh is doing is they're exercising Ruach HaKadosh. But the other thing more important is that it takes my Ruach HaKadosh to be able to see what's really, really going on here on a, on a, on a very deep level. So, um, so you have here, Havidonis Kol Adam Lekavschus includes Nefesh, and perhaps to the exclusion of all the shtuyot of the chitzonius, which are which are going around. Let's get down to get down to the bottom of of the story. And and you, I mean, first of all, you're much more much more helpful to people if you can, if you can do that. It's like a it's like a you know it's like a medical doctor who's you know uh, you know loyal no treating symptoms instead of looking at what's really going on. Um, so, uh, you know, these, these doctors should get clap. <laughs> to not, it's not, it's, a, it's just an easy thing to do, you know. Inflammation, take an aspirin. Doesn't, uh, why, what, what's going on? Like, wh like, what's going on? The person will never be healthy by treating symptoms. You make, you know, it's, a, it's never gonna happen. I'm just saying a bushel, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just saying a bushel, like, like get, you have to get down to the Omic and if, you if you're not smart enough to get down to the Omic and you're a friar. <laughs> just, just, or it could be a prescription. It's, it's, that's a friar. That's that's a, that's that's silly. Okay. That was, that was
was he so off? Why was, so that's what I asked. Why, why, why was he so off? Ailey. Mm -hmm. Ailey. And yet she was so on. Like, he, everything's stripped away from him. He's looking at what's going on on the surface. And she's telling him, like, she's getting into his kishkas. Like, the whole thing's reversed. It's upside down. It's a strange. Yeah. In other words, he's judging her superficially. And she turns around and judges him on the she deepest, on the deepest, the deepest possible level. Yeah. She's revealing to him. And then we have to say, Coach Barber oh. took it away. Well, 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 so the, so the, diuk, the diuk is that Navua comes and goes. Ruach HaKodesh is something that... Well, maybe it, to teach us this, to give us this lesson. Yeah, no, I know. But, but the thing is that you can't... You can't <coughs> like Ruach HaKodesh is, is coming from Aravoda as opposed to Navua, which is something which is shown to us. So, so that's the ikadamri, I think. You know, it could be mine into it. Like, you don't have the shechina, you know, the ruach hakodesh. Shechina comes with the ruach hakodesh, not with nevuah. I got just. Did she have a shechina at that moment? She was a navi. But was that when she became a navi? Was she a navi before? This was nevuah. The, the, the Torah calls us nevuah. Yeah, that she it saw. It was momentary nevuah. Right, but I, I, I have to believe that the only reason why um, Eli um, got this wrong is to bring out this whole um, limud. See, some, sometimes a klipa is a good thing because it, 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 uh, it brings out a piece that you wouldn't otherwise know. And what we learned, all these halachas, nine halachas, hilchas eravsa that we learned out from Chana was, was mostly because Eli misunderstood her completely. <laughs> he mis misunderstood her completely. That's a... Because if the... Um, this said Kshiva, so, does it require Shechina or Ruach HaKodesh for those letters to light up? Ruach HaKodesh and Shechina, not Nevoa. The difference between a Navi saying, go to war, don't go to war, or going to the Urim Batumim, that's what you mean, right? Okay. Going to the Urim Batumim is the Urim Batumim is a Lev HaKoyen, Lev Aaron. The Urim Batumim. You know, the Urim Batumim was, was uh, you know, Anybody seen a big picture of the Urim Vatumim? Like, uh, like a breastplate, yeah? yeah. The Torah says, Urim Vatumim, the Choshen Aaron was Zeres Arkai Vazeres Rachbai. How big is a Zeres? <laughs> Zeres Arkai Vazeres Rachbai. Tie clip. This is Zeres. That was a digital. It could be this big. Either it's, from, either it's from your thumb to the end of your pinky, or it's just your pinky. The zeris is the pinky. The question is, what do you count the shear? So do you go like this? But even like this, it's, it's a small thing. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's like a, it's a small thing. It's like, the, it's like an iPhone. <laughs> it's a little, little iPhone, you know, um, on, on his chest. But the, the, point of, the point is that this zeris archai, and this zeris rachbai, but it, but it was, but it was right. It was a readout of the lave. Uh, it, it doesn't doesn't have to be big. It has to be deep. It has to be powerful in order to, to be able to to shine out with the ruach hakodesh of the person who's wearing it. Ruach hakodesh for sure. And shchina. Of his ruach, the is very small the size of the lave. So, so, right, so the, if, assuming that's what, the, that's what happened there, the, the, the Rambam has a whole mahalach as one person who was standing and would see the letters and then he would tell it to the next one and they would interpret it. There's a whole mahalach. It wasn't just like, oh, you know, like, like, a, like a, but it, you have the same shayla on your iPhone, on your, you know, as you get older. As you get older. So then those letters lighting up means that he did have a Ruch if it, yeah, if it was working. Hag, she's saying you don't have Ruch HaKadosh. No, he didn't have at this point Ruch HaKadosh. But they lit up. It means the, the Lord has had to light up. He needs who said it, who, who's that it lit up? Huh? Who's? Hmm? He said oh, Kshera. Yeah, it spelled, it spelled the same letters, but he misinterpreted He misinterpreted the letters, the Gemara says. Right, out. so it's lit up. That's so that, that was her Kiddush, that you don't have Ruch HaKadosh. So yeah. how did it light up? It lights up, but he, he read it wrong. So mash mashma that deep deep inside he 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 had it, but 
I don't know, she, she tied it that it was, that it was wrong. It was, she, he was getting a wrong readout. He, he was getting a wrong readout. It could light up, but it could light up wrong. How do we know he was getting a completely wrong readout? So the Gemara says, there's a Gemara that says that, that uh, yeah, that, that, uh, Shikaira Akshera, Shikaira Akshera. He's reading the letters wrong. That's what they say. I, w- I want to go, and now, now comes the, um, the tangent. Um, I just, before we start, <laughs> now, this is just Inyana de um of the Parshios, because it's so, it's so nogea. Yeah, I was talking about Friday night. Um, Boyal Paroi, which is so interesting because Boyal Paroi, Lechel Paroi. It's a boil parry. Bo means come here. It's a mashma that Akash Baruch Hu was sitting with Paro. Um, Hashem said Bo El Paro. I think so. Um, key, I explained this Friday night. Key, why should you go to Paro and talk to him? Give him a warning about the final makos. Ki ani ichbalati asli boy. Because I gave him koivet alev. The Rashi eludes in the Ramban says before she doesn't have any more bechira chavshes. Like he, he went too far. He doesn't have any bechira chavshes. So the pasuk has a steer over day obey, yeah? like a bo el paro farvos kiyali echbal at the There's a reason not to go to paro. There's not a reason. What's a l'shem ma? Should there be a hasra if he doesn't even have the option of of listening to the hasra? So. Um, I, I, I explained that um, the Palatania in Perak um, says that in Reb Tzadik in Mach Shavas Charutz on page Lamed Aleph on the base, um, they say that um, there's, 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 there's a point of the Lush in the Palatania that there's Chavdal Advarim Shemak in the Tshuva. There's 24 things which says you can't do Tshuva anymore. Beyond Shuva, you're beyond. You went too far. So one of them, like most, maybe the most famous one, is Echtiv um, Ashuv. Ain't must speak and be other losses Shuva. If I say, well, I'll do a chet now, I'll do Shuva later, right? Buy now, pay later. So that's Ain't must speak and be other losses Shuva. You can't do Shuva. So what does that mean? You can't do Shuva. <laughs> Some doesn't help you do Shuva. You, you've lost. But let's say you do do Shuva. So look at the words. Ain must speak in biyadai las is chuva. Ain must speak in biyadai las is chuva. Hashem is not maspik liyadai las is chuva. He's not pulling his hands to chuva as we see with so many people. Says the Balatani, avali mosa chuva. Let's say he, in any case, does chuva. Ain davarai made me chuva. There's no such thing as somebody who can't do chuva. Even Menashe did chuva. Elazar ben Durdaya, as I spoke about on Friday night, can do chuva. Everybody can do chuva. But, he, he, nothing, nothing was helping him, right? He went to the mountains, he went to the this, he went to the sun, to the moon, nothing was helping. So when Hashem was giving him a tzivu, it was such a deep thing of bo el paroi ki ani hichbadati es libai, meaning I took away the siyata deshmaya, but maybe you could speak to him and touch the very, very deep ruts in, inside of him if it is there. And ain't davar oy made me pnei hatshuva. That's that's gufa the um, that was gufa the shlichus at this point to be a rebbe. It was helping Hashem was helping him. Helping him what? Do tshuva. Boel paro. It's a, it's like an interesting, but I'm not going to give him the um, the inspiration. This is something that's going to have to come amish like maybe from him. Like he moved, Hashem moved away from his hand a little bit, as he does, as the Balatani says, from every, every time you do a chet. That's what moving Hashem's hand of siyat to a little bit further. This is called in Kabbalistic language a klipa. He created a klipa. And, and the purpose of a klipa is to protect, protect the kedusha. <laughs> this is the irony that you're referring to. Um, Remember a Rebbe uh, and, and Tanya told me uh, when I was in fourth grade or fifth grade, so like that, that uh, I remember it was like a European, uh, you, you learn it from the evolution. 
<laughs> so in other words, like uh, if you have an orange that has to with, um, I don't know if you know what he was saying, <laughs> but if you have an orange that has to stand up to a very, very challenging climate and challenging environment, so the, the, the klipa gets thicker and thicker and thicker. So the klipas mitzrayim, right? That's, so of course we learn it for carrot. Uh, Baruch, when he made this type of a fruit, uh, and he made it to grow in a place with a very difficult environment, gave it a thick klipa. But the klipa grows, the klipa grows according to the challenge of the kedusha inside of it. This is kind of like aleph bays of, of uh, chasidus. So what happens is the stronger the klipa, it means there's more kedusha to protect. So, so the, the, the klipa of paroi was a very, very strong klipa. The klipa, let's say bigger, and the, the, the klipa of Mitzrayim in general, like we, 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 we need to get out of like the Seder, we're too tired to talk about this, that's why we have the Parshias now. The, 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 the klipa of Mitzrayim was, was, was unbelievably large because the klipa of Mitzrayim um, went against everything that Hashem made the world for. So say the Svar. Everything that Hashem created the world to be um, and the biggest klipa came about when Pare uttered these words, Yes. Mi Hashem. Mi Hashem. Can you imagine somebody saying to the, you know, somebody saying to their, to their father or their mother or to their parents when they're having some kind of argument, like, who the hell are you? <laughs> it's, it's the ultimate klipa. To say you disagree, to say that you're fighting, to say that you're arguing and you're moving out of the house. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? Who are your parents? Like, right? We, we gave birth to you. We supported you. Like, we're taking care of you. You live here. Uh, 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 that, that, so that's the that's the biggest klipa that's possible. So the um, that, that klipa had to be broken through. It didn't create only a klipa for a bunch of Egyptians. It created a klipa for the entire world, because Mitzrayim was the entire world. That was the, the metropolis of, or, uh, met, metropolis of the world. So 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 the idea of of the Eser Makos, and this is what's so important. The idea of the Eser Makos is to break through that klipa. There was the klipa of Mi Hashem had to be broken down by a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And it, 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 there's the personal thing of Paro's Ratzon. Is he doing it himself? Or are you bringing it out? But I just really want to read you for now, because um, we're out of time. The Svasemes and Parshas Boy brings, which is quoted in a lot of places, this particular Adoni Avi Zikni Mayur Rabbi Zatzal. That's the Chidush Arim. So Asemes was a grandson of the Chidush Arim, first Ger Rabbi. He did. He used to say, Ki Masha Hayat Sirech Leeser Makos. The need for Eser Makos was Lahaser Aklipa Vaseser Measer Mamores. It's not a coincidence that there are Aser Mamores, Aser Makos. La Saison, in order to make it a source of Debris. Adkan Devaro. So I'm just going to say that, and I want, but I want, I want to go into this because it's fascinating um, to work it out. But it's not Eser, Eser, Eser. We find it three times. It's, there, Hashem, created Asarim, Hashem created the world with Asarim Amaris. And from there, it's supposed to go to Asar Debris. This is me talking, not the Swasamas. What's the difference between Asar Mamaris? Sarasdibur is more clear. What's the difference between a Mimer and a Dibur? What's the difference between Omer and Vayidaber? Vayoymer, Vayidaber. So Omer, you, so you could ask the question, Mahu Amar. If there's a Dibur, you have to ask the question, Imihu Diber. <laughs> Omer doesn't require necessarily, I could, a bunch can read, I could talk all day. Dibur means I'm talking with somebody. So the, the idea is to get from Asar Mamaris when nobody was around, Hashem, 10 utterances of Hashem, Mamarim, Mamaros, to get to Aseris Hadibros where there's this connection with the world. A Mamaris to Dibros. Yeah? All right? You with me? So Aseris Hadibros, Aseris Dibros. Beautiful, smooth transaction until Mitzrayim came along and put an iron curtain between the Mamaris and the Dibros. And in order to get rid of the violation, and, and there's, there's pratim here, but I just want to say the rule. In order to get rid of the, the, the mechitza, the klipa, of the, making a mechitza, mi Hashem, azar oh, mamaris, you needed azar makos to, to clean away those, 
clip the clippers of of the Asur, the, of the violation of the Asura Mamaris or the Kafira in the Asura Mamaris, so that we could come to Asaris Adibrois. So we go from Mimer to Deeper with a hefsik of Mitzrayim and Esser Makos to clean it out, like a dentist, clean out the, uh, clean out the Mitzrayim, clean out the culture with the Esser Makos. And we'll look, and I'd, li I'd like to talk about a little bit how you can see how every one of the Esser Mamaris, you can make a chart, of, which he doesn't do, unfortunately, but you can make a chart, I did, of how the Esser Mamaris match up exactly to the Aseris Hadibrois, which math match up exactly to the klipa of the Eser Makos. But the Maral just gives the caveat here, and he says, but the only thing is, with the Makos, you start with the end and you work to the first. In other words, the, the, the la, Makos Bechorois is connected, just something so you can think about this on your own. Can I get a Noichi Hashem Alekecha? Right? So, and, the, and, the, and, and it's, what's, what was the first mimer? The first mimer is Breshis Bar Elikim. Breshis Nami Mimer. So Breshis Bar Elikim, and that's why um, to get Makas Bechor is Breshis. That's um, well, the whole the whole din of Breshis and Bechor, and the first of everything came with Makas Bechor, because it's all a tikkun for Breshis. So so it means to say that the that the the Mimer of Breshis Bar Elikim comes with Kadesh Li Kol Bechor, but breaking that klipa is Makas Bechor. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, I don't want to go give away further. <laughs> but uh, but that's, this, this, is, this is the avoid to think about during these uh, parshas.